Computational sociology uses computational methods to analyze social phenomena such as social agents, their interactions, and the effect of these interactions on the social aggregate. This field employs computer simulations, artificial intelligence, complex statistical methods, and analytic approaches such as social network analysis to develop and test theories of complex social processes. Despite the differences between social science, natural science or computer science, computational sociology has adopted some of the approaches used in physics and artificial intelligence social complexity concepts have entered its vocabulary, such as complex systems, nonlinear interconnection, and emergence. Emergence has played a valuable role in the foundation of computational sociology as it accommodates two different ontologies however, there are those who disagree with emergence's use because of its unexplainable aspects. Agent-based models have had an important influence on computational sociology since the 1960s, simulating control and feedback processes in organizations, cities, etc., and modeling behaviors in a bottom-up approach with interdependent agents in the 1980s. George Holmans and other sociologists believe that sociological theories needed to be structured hierarchically with precise terminology to derive and operationalize empirical studies. With the advent of computer algorithms and programs, scholars speculated that similar approaches could be used to solve and prove formalized social problems and theorems. By the late 1960s and early 1970s, social scientists utilized computing technology to create macro simulations predicting population distributions based on factors such as inventory control, migration, and disease transmission. Those simulations received attention in the mid-1970s, Inconvenient results led to attempts to discredit the models. To avoid such discrediting, social scientists focused on micro-simulation models to study policy effects however, these models did not allow for interaction or adaptation and were not for theoretical research. Meanwhile, physicists and mathematicians utilized cellular automata to model complex systems. Advancements in artificial intelligence and microcomputer power ultimately led to the establishment of the Santa Fe Institute in 1984 and the Bach Group at the University of Michigan in the mid-1980s to encourage interdisciplinary study of complexity. Axelrod and Hamilton's research highlighted the development of cooperation and sanctioning norms among individual agents following a simple tool set. This was achieved without the need for sociological constructs like demographics, religion, values, or culture. Multi-agent-based models were subsequently developed, including those addressing generalized reciprocity, social influence, prejudice, and organizational information processing social network analysis, as a distinct analytical method, emerged from advances in graph theory, statistics, and studies of social structure. The increasing prevalence of computing and telecommunication technologies called for analytical methods that could scale to more complex and larger data sets the latest wave of computational sociology uses network analysis and advanced statistical techniques to analyze large-scale electronic datasets of social behavior. Improvements in machine learning algorithms have enabled the identification of latent and meaningful patterns of social interaction from textual data on a vast scale. This approach automates quantitative narrative analysis, which identifies subject-verb-object triplets, pairs of actors linked by an action, or pairs formed by actor-object to extract actors in their relational networks. The story emphasizes on the challenges faced by computational sociology in understanding the levels of societies and their interactions, as well as the difficulties in identifying and modeling cultural diversity. The analysis of social media structures highlights the periodicity evident in these interactions. One major challenge is distinguishing between levels such as micro and macro, as well as identifying and understanding the formation and interactions between intermediate levels like groups and communities. The validity of information and its sources also presents a significant challenge, particularly in the age of information gathering and processing. Modeling the diversities that result from the evolution of networks and levels is another challenge, and requires accounting for external factors such as the influence of mass media and locality evaluating large-scale simulations in order to predict future societal evolutions remains another challenge in computational social science. 
when it comes to computational sociology, an effective approach worth exploring is the integration of simple models to form a hybrid model. Not only do these models offer improved performance and understanding of data, but they could also lead to valuable innovations in the form of new data analytics tools, better algorithms, and models. However, the challenge lies in identifying and fully comprehending the interactions between these simple models to create a combined, well-performing model. Another hurdle is developing tools and applications to analyze and visualize the data derived from these hybrid models. Perhaps the most significant challenge in computational sociology is modeling social processes. Nonetheless, if successful, it could lead to more efficient policymaking and decision processes for the scientific community and society at large.